Hello everyone, I'm Karan from Team Musk and in this video I'll show you the most common and most advanced Android Studio shortcuts used by experienced and professional developers all around the world. I've also made another video of Eclipse ID shortcuts which was loved by you all very very much and that's the reason I also wanted to create a video for Android Studio shortcuts or IntelliJ IDE shortcuts which will make your life easy and when you use these shortcuts in front of your colleagues they'll be left impressed so you can share these shortcuts with them as well all right so let's get started and one last thing that in the end of this video i will also share an amazing and exciting android studio shortcut which will help you to focus on writing code and without any disturbance from anything and you absolutely love this feature from android studio so maybe you know about it maybe you don't but let's wait for it. All right, so let's get started. And the first thing is a pretty basic shortcut, which everybody knows, but here still again, I'll share it with everyone. So first of all, I'll walk you through all the navigation shortcuts which are present in Android Studio. So the first one is search everything using double shift command. So just by pressing double shift, you can search through all of your files in Android Studio. The next one is find. It's a pretty basic and pretty simple command. Here you are, just press Ctrl F and you can just search for whatever you are looking for. So the next one is replace. It's again a very basic command which most of us know. Just press Command and R on your MacBook and you can replace whatever you want with the other string. So if you press replace, it will be replaced over there and you can keep navigating up and down using these arrow keys. So the next one is open the file structure pop-up. So this is a pretty useful command and I believe everybody should be using it while developing their applications in no matter what ID, every ID give you, gives you these kind of options. So Android Studio, you can use command and F12 shortcut to check the file structure. So here I have an adapter class which has a view holder class as an inner class. I can see that over here based upon these places of the arrow keys. I can see that view holder class is a part of adapter and there's a new other class which is a diff callback class. And these classes have these many methods and variables and I can just navigate through them and get to know the code structure of my class which is pretty helpful so that's really helpful and moving on to the next one it is navigating between the open files so I have about a couple of files open here and I just want to navigate from one file to another from this tab to this tab like that so I just press control tab and I can move to whichever file I want to okay so next one is go to line number so here i am in my adapter class i want to go to line number 50 i'll just press ctrl l that is it and i am here at line 50 this shortcut is pretty helpful to you when you get crashes or exceptions in the log and you want to just jump onto that line and see what exactly is happening out there all right so the next one is open the type hierarchy let's say you want to know what's the type hierarchy for this adapter class so you're in this adapter class right now just press ctrl edge and you can see this sleepnet adapter class has a super class of list adapter and list adapter has a super class of adapter in recycler view cool so next we have to close the active tab in the editor so uh, let's say i'm done with this view model class i don't want to change this anymore i'll just press ctrl w command w on a macbook and that's it my tab is closed all right so the windows command is control f4 sorry the recently opened files so if you press command e i can see all the files which i had opened recently and i can just quickly scroll through them and see what file i'm looking for okay that's pretty easy and helpful so the recently edited files this is pretty useful shortcut if i just want to see what are the recent changes which I have made. So I can just press Control Shift E and I can see what changes I have made recently in the code. Okay, cool. That's pretty nice and useful shortcut. So now let's move on to viewing layouts shortcuts. Some shortcuts for the layouts of 
Android. Let's say I'm in a short, I'm in a file here and I just want to zoom in and zoom out. I'll just press command plus or minus to zoom in or zoom out. And the next shortcut says that if I just want to fit my layout to the screen, just press, press command zero and I'm just fit to the screen now. Okay, moving on to the next one toggle design or blueprint modes. So here I am, I'll just press B command and we'll toggle between different blueprint or design modes. So the next command says toggle between portrait and landscape modes. Here O stands for orange like O, it's not a zero. So if I press O, it will shift to a landscape or a portrait mode very quickly, which is very helpful in testing out the layouts while developing it and it saves a lot of time. Next one is going to the XML. So now say I just want to go to the XML code and I'll just press command B and I'm here in this XML window. So now let's jump on to the writing code section which comprises of major helpful Android Studio shortcuts. So the first one is project quick fix which is option plus enter. So if you can see some basic things over here like some fixes which Android Studio ID suggest, suggests. So you can just hit option enter on this and you can see all the quick fixes suggestions which it is offering and you can work on those based upon your requirements. The next one is basic code completion. It is control plus space. So while you're typing in through some code, you just wanna see what exactly uh, it is. Like you want some help from the IDE, you can just press control space and it will help you to complete your line or complete your method or complete your function call whatever it is so the next one is reformat code and i love this one very very much so here it is i just have some file which is not intended properly and it makes it really difficult for me to navigate now so it doesn't look good so what i do is i just press this command option l and here it is so when you do that you can see that you get a bit of a feedback as well formatted one line unused imports not found cool that's a pretty good shortcut and i'm sorry this is command for a macbook all right so the next one is deleting line at caret so this means that let's say you don't need this line because since this is not being used so i'll just do command and delete it will delete that particular line where my cursor is at so that's a pretty good shortcut so the next one is collapse or expand the current code block. So let's say this is a method which I'm in right now. And let's imagine that it's a pretty big method. And I want to, you know, shorten it out and remove it so that I can see what exactly is happening around this piece of code. What I can do is I can just press command and minus. That's it. And to come back in again, I can either click on these three dots through my mouse or I can just press command plus that's also working fine. All right, so the next one is duplicate or current line selection. So this is command D. This is written from zero to five. I have to write from five to 10. So what I can do is instead of copying and pasting this stuff, I can just keep my cursor here and press command D. Command D, 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 D. That's it. So it will just keep on replicating the line whatever I'm in whichever line I am. So I'm just removing this by undoing it. So it's pretty useful shortcut command D instead of copying and pasting the line, you save on the copying and you're just pasting that, that whatever line it is. The next one is go to the declaration. It is command P. So I want to find out where is this, let's say, uh, where is this particular night ID defined? I want to see what exactly is the night ID. So I'll just press command B, command B, and I am here in the sleep night data class and I can see what is night ID here. Okay, cool, really cool. Now I'm done. I want to close this file, press command W. Cool, really good. Optimizing imports, come on, control option O. I think this is again command option O, but let's see. So let's say I have some imports here which are not necessary. Let's say this one, it's duplicate and we don't need it. So I'll try control option O. 
and yes it works fine removed one import okay so now let's come to build and running the project building a project we can do it using command and f9 i can show it to you command and function f9 all right so now it's building the cradle is building but uh, i'm not sure if you can see it exactly right now but i'll just close it off i'll just stop the running so it runs and the next one is how to run build and run a project you can just say a uh, control r sorry so it will build and it will run the project so it's trying to run this so I'll stop it over here. All right, so this is pretty basic and pretty useful command build and run. Instead of navigating all the way here and trying to run it up stuff, you can just say control R, that's good. Okay, so now we jump onto refactoring. Let's say you have some piece of chunk over here and you want to move it into some other method. You don't want to do the stuff here. You want to move this to another method. All right, so we just select this and press Option, Command, M, and you get a bit of a dialog box here, extraction function. So you can see it will take this particular parameter and you can give whatever you want to get my items. And when you click OK, it will create a new function and it will call that function in that line. So it basically extracted that method out of that initial place so it's pretty good and really helpful so you should use it when your code gets really large and you want to refactor it so it's really helpful the next one is regarding tool windows so now logcat window is basically one of the major things which we are looking at while running our app we want to see logs while debugging we want to see logs just press command 6 that's it and you can see all the logs in here and you can press command 6 again and it will go away all right so next one is open the project window which is this one right over here so i'll just press command 1 and i can see the con the project window i'll press command 1 again it's gone this is the last and it's not exactly a shortcut but it's exactly a really helpful thing over here you can go to view appearance and enter distraction free mode so here you are in a distraction free mode just looking at this file and nothing else and you can just write some piece of code and have a wonderful day over there all right so just go back appearance exit distraction free mode that's it all right so and another one more thing which i feel is really helpful is that to write log commands so what Android Studio offers is that you just press LOG D and you hit enter over here and the current method name will be highlighted over here and you can start whatever you're writing on the cursor over there. That's really cool and let's remove this one for now and let's remove this one for now. Okay, so now this file is new and I want to write some logs over here. I'll just write LOG D enter enter now i have to create a tag here i'll go here i press log t and enter enter it will create a tag with the name of my class name 